For the Huffington Post, I'm Lauren Zima. They are moments unreported in history until now, the final days, weeks, and months of the life of assassinated President John F. Kennedy. Candid and on tape, these are the final recordings to be released by his presidential library. Here's Kennedy introducing his children to Andrei Gromyko, the Russian foreign minister. Nearly 50 years ago, JFK dealt with many of the same issues plaguing Washington today. The Associated Press quotes him. We've got so mechanical an operation here in Washington that it doesn't have much identity where these people are concerned. And like most politicians, he was concerned about how to win public support in difficult times. The Daily Beast says one Kennedy conversation sounds strikingly familiar. In a conversation with aides that could come straight out of a modern White House, Kennedy worries about income inequality and the difficulty of appealing to young voters. What is it we have to sell them? We hope we have to sell them prosperity, but for the average guy, the prosperity is nil. He's not unprosperous, but he's not very prosperous. He's not going to make out well off. And the people who really are well off hate our guts. The tapes, the last 45 of some 260 hours of recorded conversations released by the JFK Library, show Kennedy the family man and give insight on the thorniest issues for Kennedy, like Vietnam. CBS reports the tapes will serve as something of an autobiography Kennedy never had the chance to write. And in a moment of cruel irony, the final recording released comes from November 20th, 1963, as the president prepared to travel to Dallas. At one point, he makes a haunting reference to the day on which his funeral would be held. For the Huffington Post, I'm Lauren Zima.